Welcome to the InfoMullet YouTube channel. If you enjoy this content, please like or share. And if you'd like to support the InfoMullet by becoming a mulleteer, visit us on Patreon. We appreciate your support. Will Al-Qaeda or ISIS be stronger in personal influence by the end of 2021? This is something I get asked every year. It's a valid point. These are the two largest worldwide global terrorist networks in operation. And so it's, a, it's an important thing to, to talk about. So there we go. Let's get up here. So um, yeah, my forecast for 2021 is both Al-Qaeda and, and ISIS get stronger. So my forecast for 2020 was that ISIS gets stronger. 2021 is Al-Qaeda and ISIS get stronger. And the reasons for this are several. You kind of do a, a map of the world, right? In the Sahel, the South Saharan region that I've talked about, Western Africa, both Al-Qaeda and ISIS are just running rampant over there. They are recruiting. They are active. There are insurgencies. There may even be an emerging state actor scenario there. France has an ongoing intervention in Mali. It's kind of eh, not working so hot. Uh, you got Nigeria, Niger. All these activities, they have local groups. That continues to be an area that's going to be active for Al-Qaeda and ISIS. ISIS has also shown recently its ability to expand in Mozambique. Um, they still very potent in um, Somalia, as is Al-Qaeda. But the big factors are going to drive this propulsion is, first, for Al-Qaeda. The U.S. is scheduled to uh, cut the peace deal with the Taliban and remove the U.S. troops here in a matter of months. Um, and there's a little bit of contention between President Trump. He wants to remove him by January 15th. That's going to be a question of whether that happens or not. But the U.S. presidency is drawing down. There is no indication the Taliban is honoring its agreement to kick the Al-Qaeda out of its country. Because remember, the Taliban, sort of the Taliban influence network is not just in Afghanistan, but extends partway into Pakistan in the Waziristan province, that sort of uh, federally affiliated tribal areas, FATA, in the northwestern part of Pakistan, eastern part of Afghanistan. So the Taliban has a lot of Al-Qaeda sympathizers, areas like that. And as the Taliban continues to take power in Afghanistan, they're taking districts, they're doing it a very slow, methodical, but they are taking territory, they're holding territory, and they're gobbling it up. That gives Al-Qaeda the room to grow back and reconstitute. It's the same thing we saw, unfortunately, going back into the 90s. Um, and although there is an ISIS province there, ISIS in the Khorasan province, the Wilyat ISIS-K, they haven't been very effective at attracting enough talent to be a significant enough threat to either the Taliban or Al-Qaeda or the Haqqani network to be much of a player. So I see as the U.S. withdraws from Afghanistan, the Taliban, the Haqqani, and Al-Qaeda will be beneficiaries. That gives Al-Qaeda for the to give a, a, a place they can base out of with some security, as well as all these little uh, regional affiliates. We mentioned Iraq. Uh, ISIS had began insurgent activities in Iraq probably September, October. They did rocket attacks on a few airports. They're now beginning to own the night, as it were. That means if you have these outlying villages or rural areas around the desert in the Sunni, uh, the Anbar, the Anbar, tri the Sunni Triangle in the Anbar province, that means that, yes, the state has uh, nominal control during the day, but at night, you don't go out at night. You, you're, the, the insurgents have control. We're seeing that happen. There's a real possibility of Iraq collapsing in 2021. And if they do, ISIS will benefit. I've talked about the partition of Iraq. You, there's so much going on. There's complete instability from a population, doesn't trust the government, government doesn't trust the population. You have PMC militia groups running around that are Iranian-backed, but not really in control anymore since Soleimani um, was killed. You have uh, ISIS is rearing itself again. All of the, you have PKK terrorists. All of these things are just this complete chaos in Iraq. It's a non-trivial chance that if Iraq collapses or has a partial collapse, ISIS will rise up and take a position of that. Turkey may move and take a slice of partition. Iran may move and take a partition of Iraq. We may see a partition of Iraq, but that's where I think the most growth for ISIS will be is in the Iraq area because they're able to make the claim, the grievances, you know, the same one that they came before. If you're a Arab Sunni, the Arab Shias are out to get you. Look at these PMCs. They're running around. They're running amok. Um, the government's killing you in the streets. We can protect you. Uh, the, you know, there's a little bit of savvy here. People have seen this ISIS routine before. And they're kind of like, hey, I remember you guys. You had murder squares. No, thank you. Going to pass on that. But with insurgencies, you never know. So um, that's where I see in Q7 uh, coming up. So thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to follow the InfoMullet, visit us on Facebook or Twitter. And if you'd like notifications when we post new video content, click on the red subscribe button below the video. If you've ever wanted to become a mulleteer and support the InfoMullet, visit us on Patreon. We appreciate the support.